Hey everybody, it's Brett with Incredible Getaways again. Today, we're going to be talking about fun things to do on your next Carnival Cruise. And with that, let's get started. Hey everybody, it is Brett with Incredible Getaways. Once again, we're going to be talking about some really great things to be able to do on your next carnival cruise. And so, uh, this is just a couple of things that we've experienced, had really great times with. We're going to be talking about some of the great things that carnival has to offer. First thing is, of course, as always, the Caribbean Sailway Party. I guess it's Caribbean Sailway Party if you're <laughs> um, uh, sailing the Caribbean. But, you know, either way, your sailaway party is one of the places to, to be able to really kick off your vacation. I enjoy it because it lets me know the time has finally arrived. You know, you've completed all of your safety stuff. Your bags have been checked. They're on board. Um, even if you carried on your bags for whatever reason it may be, uh, all of that stuff's taken care of. You've went through the muster drill, and here you are ready for your great adventure. So for me, that's what the sailaway party is all about is just celebrating the fact that, okay, we are actually here. We are doing this. We are officially sailing away and uh, we have nothing but a great time planned ahead of us. One of the other great things that Carnival offers is the gender showdown. Yes. And so, you know, kind of adds a little fun to the mix you know who's the best is it the ladies is it the guys who's going to bring home the bacon you know and uh you know me and my wife are very competitive people I talk about it all the time you know that we're super competitive so anytime that we have a little opportunity for some competition we both welcome it greatly with that carnival also has a lot of great activities that are going on you'll usually have some kind of a, a bingo game on that first day it's usually a kind of a welcome aboard getting everybody excited about their vacation a lot of times they'll give away a lot of stuff during that bingo um, game you know it can be anything from extra cruise cash to um, you know winning free internet or wine or usually some kind of incentive that's provided by the cruise line with that so um, that's always a, a great time to check out. Uh, you make sure that whenever you get on board that you get your fun times, uh, bulletin or use your carnival app, which is what I recommend. I actually go through both of those, use both of them in different ways, um, to be able to figure out what I want to do while I'm on my super great vacation. So make sure that you're checking that out. <clears throat> There's also karaoke uh, on board with a lot of these ships. You know, that's a, another great time to be able to uh, kick back, relax. You know, maybe you're on board with a group of people and you have a bunch of your friends or a bunch of your family. It's a great way to be able to let loose and relax, get out all the stress of everything. Uh, a lot of people enjoy karaoke. I enjoy listening to karaoke. I am not good at singing karaoke. Um, I guess nobody technically is, though. I mean, really. Very rarely do you find anybody who's singing karaoke that is like a legitimate singer that can really like just, you know, kill it. But nonetheless, uh, that's, that's not normally me. Part of that is because... I never get the words right anyway. <laughs> my wife gives me crap about that. My brother loves to rag on me um, about the fact that for whatever reason I can't get words right. I'll get them mixed up. I'll sing the wrong lyrics. It's hilarious. It's a great time. You also have the Welcome Aboard show, which usually involves your cruise director as well. One of my favorite cruise directors that we've ever had has been Mark Hugh. And uh, shout out to Mark Hugh. Love you, man. Do a great job. Great. All the cruise great directors are great, but um, Mark Hughes, our favorite. You know, we've had Cookie. We've had several others. Um, curious, have you ever had a cruise director that stuck out to you? Do you have your cruise favorite cruise director that you get really excited whenever you find out he's on board and is going to be kicking off your show? Um, 
I'm curious. Drop in the comments below. We want to hear from you. Also, as always, they have the Punch Liner Comedy Club. Love the comedy on board with Carnival. Uh, it's one of the things that I always give an A plus on with Carnival. I'm a really big comedian guy. Love stand up, and uh, they always have really good, solid comedians that are on there. Some are better than others, of course, um, and some of them may not be your cup of tea. Me, I have a very broad palette when it comes to comedy. Uh, I like all different styles of stand up, but realizing that that isn't everybody. I'm in a very small margin of people there, I feel like. But nonetheless, they do a great job. The the comedians usually kill it. If you go and you see the first show and you're like, ah, I, I didn't really like that guy. I'm thinking about not going back. Do yourself a favor. Watch the second act because Carnival does a really great job of trying to diversify the comedians. So they'll do different styles of comedy, the two different acts will. And so if the first one isn't your cup of tea, you didn't like it, you didn't think it was funny, give the second one a shot. I recommend that highly because uh, there's a good chance that, that you will enjoy the, the second show. Uh, me, I think that there's only been one comedian that was on board that I didn't think was up to par and it could have just been an off night for for that guy you know comedians are are like other performers you know if you've ever done any kind of performance you know whether it's a musical recital or um, some kind of singing event you understand that sometimes for whatever reason you're just off you know I enjoy playing music play a couple different instruments and, uh, you know, we had a small little band that we did some local shows and everything and had a great time with it. But there were days that we'd just absolutely kill it. And there's days that it's just like everything was just flat. I don't know. It's just really weird. And the same thing happens to comedians. Sometimes, you know, the energy's right. Sometimes they're ready to go. And sometimes they just fall flat. I think a lot about like Brandon Shaw, um, huge MMA guy. I love MMA and, and the sport. And, um, I think about him and one of the last fights that he fought, he talks about that for whatever reason, that particular fight, he was just flat. It, he couldn't get going. He couldn't get pumped up. You know, it was just kind of in a fog. I think a lot of comedians experience that sometimes too. Either way, uh, the shows are always great at the Punchline or Comedy. I always enjoy it. Always recommend it. They always do a, a PG show and then a rated R show. So the comedians, they'll both comedians will do one set that is PG-13 each, and then the other one will be a rated R show later in the evening. A couple of places to eat while on board and experience some food with Carnival. Uh, the chef's table is always, always sold out on all the cruises, this is one of those things that you need to make sure that if you want to do the chef table experience that you are going to want to book it before you get on board. Because if you wait, you're probably not getting in. That's just being honest. Most of the time it's sold out before they ever accept the first guest, before anybody starts boarding. What is the chef's table, you ask? It is an all ex exclusive experience uh, that is provided by Carnival and Includes a multi-course dinner and a private tour during an amazing evening with the master executive chef. So uh, that's something that's always great to be able to see, have a behind the scenes look at how Carnival puts out all this food. To be able to sit down with the executive chef and have him prepare a meal for you. Um, it's great and it's really affordable too. Um, usually it's around like $75 a person, I think, something like that. So um, it's always, always a, a great option that's there. You also have the steakhouse experience, which is, you know, where you uh, you come in, you have a, a sit-down meal at their exclusive steakhouse. Uh, it's always, always great. A couple other things as far as food goes that are highlights for me. Now, the first two we talked about, are paid uh, restaurants and paid events that you have to pay for. 
Um, but as far as open itinerary, the two things that I always look forward to the most is Guy's Burger. I love Guy's Burger. I've never met anybody who went and ate at Guy's Burger and was like, eh, it's all right. Never had anybody tell me, oh, I hated that. It's always on point. Everybody loves Guy's Burger. I think that for Carnival, there's two things that really stands out for everybody's trip as far as the food goes is Guy's Burger and the lava cake, the chocolate lava cake. Uh, both of those are two of the biggest hits on Carnival when it comes to food. But, you know, for me, my two favorite things is Guy's Burger. And I always look forward to the sit-down dinner. Uh, a lot of people skip out on it. They do different things. It's not their cup of tea. You know, they just go hit up the buffet whenever they want to eat supper. Me, I really enjoy it. I enjoy the time for whenever my me and my family go on vacation to be able to come together, sit around together, and have a nice meal together, talk about all the great fun that we had that day. Besides that, they have great food and a pretty wide variety menu. You can pick anything on the menu. If you want multiple things off the menu, you can do that as well. I usually get multiple uh, different different things from the, the menu. My wife, she fusses at me sometimes, and she's just like, do not have them bring seven plates of food out here. Okay, I'm serious. Do not <laughs> order everything on the menu. And uh, I try to cut back, but usually we just have to compromise. I'm not a happy that I didn't get everything that I wanted um, but and she's not happy with the number of plates but usually <laughs> we we compromise somewhere in the middle on that there's all kinds of other options that are on there that are great options that's just two that that really stand out for me uh, my wife she really enjoys um, the taco bar that they have um, she she enjoys that especially the breakfast tacos they are on point. It's probably my favorite as well for breakfast is go hit up the, the Blue Iguana Taco Bar and just pig out. Love it. Other things to do while you're on the ship, you know, you can book your shore excursion while you're on the ship. I don't recommend that. A lot of people do it. Uh, you see people backed up at guest services throughout the whole cruise and it just never gets any less hectic at guest services. Me, I always take care of all of my bookings before we ever get on board. And that way everything's paid for. Uh, you know, I've, I've picked everything I want to do. I know what my budget is. Everything's paid for and it's done. And I don't have to waste time while I'm on vacation enjoying myself. Who wants to stand in a line for an hour? Not me. <laughs> But you got different short excursions. As always, you got the Carnival Spa and Fitness Center. Yes, they've got, they got a, a really good spa. Um, the spa is better than the Fitness Center, in my opinion. The Fitness Center is a little bit lacking, but it, it's still it is what it is. You know, um, a lot of people work out. You see a lot more runners on on Carnival Cruise Lines uh, in the mornings. They'll go and get on the the track and they'll run laps on the track around the boat and uh so that's just my personal feelings about those maybe one day we'll do a, a little bit deeper dive on the carnival spa and talk about what all the different spa options are some of the things that we recommend one of the great things about carnival is the music plenty of live music my youngest He's four now. He loves the live music. He's a big live music fan. And I get a lot of joy watching him uh, just enjoy the music. But they really have tremendous music, live music. They have DJs. Usually they'll have some kind of uh, uh, stringed instruments as far as like violins or cellos or something like that where usually two or three people are playing um, they'll have steel drums, which uh, is always great. I love the steel drums. They'll be in there just going to town. And so um, I can definitely jam out to that. 
I know everybody's watching this is going like, the heck was that? Was that him dancing or having a stroke? Okay. I can't do it. Leave me alone. <laughs> but so many great options on, on Carnival. Uh, there's, of course, the casino uh, that's on all the cruise lines, all the Carnival cruise lines. You know, a lot of people enjoy that. Um, you know, you can go and you've got Blackjack, Texas Hold'em, of course, the slots. And typically, they'll do tournaments for those three uh, at some point in time during the cruise. Sometimes multiple times during your cruise. They'll have a Blackjack tournament. They'll have a Texas Hold'em tournament. And they'll have usually at least one slots tournament. Usually, it's, it's a couple different slot tournaments I'll see that they'll have going on with it. Of course, you've got Bingo, which isn't held in the casino. It's usually held in one of the auditoriums. But uh, nonetheless... I, I put bingo in with gambling. I'm sorry. It's just the way I see it. You're putting in money, hoping to win money. Instead of waiting for cards to fall or waiting for dice to fall, you are waiting for numbers to fall. It's all the same thing to me. Uh, <clears throat> but they have other games in the casino as well. Craps, um, they've got different poker uh, games that are their card games. One of the things that I see a lot of people do, oh, roulette, they got it. But one of the things I see a lot of people do um, while they're on there is they've got these little like arcade style games and you have the little arm that goes up and down and to the side and you got to put a key in the hole and it drops all this money. See a lot of those, um, see a lot of people playing them too, man. I've never seen anybody win them, but I see a lot of people play them. Um, the money grab claw machine you see people play that a lot um i look at it and i'm like i'm not wasting my money on that because that claw arm is definitely not strong enough to pick up that wad of money and you'll see people they're trying all these different techniques to try to get to flip the money into the bin i just don't see how it's possible to win um i've never seen anybody win on that either <laughs> so uh but hey if you enjoy it you have fun with it. That's all that matters. Play away. <laughs> you have uh, the Piano Man Bar, uh, which is always, always a, a big hit. Um, the last two cruises that we've been on with Carnival, the uh, the Piano Man was on point. It was great. It was incredible. The Hot and Cool Night Club, where you'll find the, uh, the DJ playing some of the greatest music uh, to be able to dance to, have a great time. They'll usually have ladies night, singles night, LGBTQ night, all the different nights going on, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's a it's a great time there. Um, I'm not a big club guy. Uh, I've got too old for uh, going and hitting up the club. I mean, <laughs> that's just the honest of, honesty of it. I am too much of a dad, obviously, by... Uh, those dance moves that I, I popped out a minute ago, y'all can see why I have no business being in the club. <laughs> oh, man. Movies. They have great movies on board. I love whenever they have the dive-in movies at night. It's a great time to be able to relax and unwind, man. Be able to sit out on the, the deck, the wind, you know, the salt air. I just love that experience. <clears throat> you know, um... They have these massive LED screens. The picture quality is really good, surprisingly, um, surprisingly good. And, uh, you know, finding a good spot to be able to sit at. There's plenty of seat, seating on the decks, you know, but I always try to get early, find a good spot that I want. Uh, maybe find one that's going to have like a little, um, little table, coffee table little thing to be able to sit my drink down on and be able to sit back and enjoy and relax. Also, a lot of people enjoy the shopping that's available while on Carnival. Um, you know, they have, of course, you know, the photo gallery where you can, you can do different shopping at, but they'll have, uh, usually have some sort of liquor store. Um, they'll have just a general shopping area where you can get carnival themed t-shirts or vacation themed t-shirts and little knickknacks along the way um what else do they have there jewelry they have a lot of jewelry 
on board. They have the art auction uh, that goes on, which isn't in that same vicinity, but once again, trying to keep to the theme instead of really uh, by the sections of the boat. Um, even though most, a lot of the stuff that goes on is all going to be in the same general section, like you'll you'll find that out as you do more and more cruising. Um, but yeah, the uh, cherry on top uh, sweet shop, you know where they've got the candy there. That's a, a a big thing. A lot of people go in and, and buy some candy because it is more of a, one of those novelty things that you just enjoy doing but a uh, lot of great jewelry at great prices they've got colognes and watches and um, yeah women a lot of women's jewelry I don't know much about jewelry to be honest with you um, I do know that it's uh, really it's not cheap jewelry it's really good jewelry um, I've seen it be able to hold up and I've seen the pricing of it on the boat versus off the ship from, from these uh, producers or whatever you want to call them, manufacturers. And it's very competitive. Usually they'll have a, some kind of sale that goes on while on board. And that's the best time to, to get in on that if you're going to be buying any of the jewelry. Um, that's when you'll usually get it at a cheaper rate than what you'll actually pay on land for. So with all of that i believe that is kind of a good brief just general overview of course they have kids and teens things that go on they have camp ocean they got circle c they've got all all the different uh things for the kids and the teens uh good place to be able to just kind of turn your kids <laughs> loose you know um and let them be able to have a great time especially younger kids take them to camp ocean um, for them to be able to meet other kids, have a good time, gives you a little break. You know, um, me and my wife will drop our kids off for half hour, an hour at a time, let them be able to play, give us a little bit of a break, be able to relax, kind of recharge, and then go back, pick them up, and go and do, you know, whatever else. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, pretty good overview there's a lot of things that go on with carnival there's a lot more than what we just covered this is just a really brief kind of just across the surface you know some of the favorite things that we've done um probably the only thing i can think that we've left off at this point would be the dr sue stuff once again that's going to be directed to younger kids we love the susa palooza the dr seuss breakfast all those kind of things whenever we have our kids with us you know that's great to be able to do um i think that's a lot of adults really enjoy it too though you know be honest i do i think that it's great but uh it's not for everybody so with all of that being said that is just a brief overview of some of the things that you may want to check out on your next carnival getaway carnival uh cruise and so you know here in incredible getaways we want to be able to help you any way that we can hope this video is informative also don't forget to check out our website as well where you can book your cruise you can request quotes we've got a uh, search engine for flights cruises hotels all of those different things that are on there so you can do some searching on your own or if you'd like for us to be able to assist you it's no charge to you at all with that being said i think that kind of sums everything up don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button it helps us out and uh we really appreciate it very very much until next time we'll see you guys later bye